When my daughter was really little, all she could say was pie, but I knew exactly what she wanted. This little cutie pie wasn't asking for a buttery crust and a fruit filling. She was asking for rich and meaty with peas and carrots topped with creamy mashed potatoes, shepherd's pie. I begin with Yukon gold potatoes in a saucepan filled with water. When it comes to a boil, turn the heat down to medium low so that it doesn't boil over. While the potatoes cook with the lid on it, I heat a large skillet to medium high and cook the ground beef and onions. Break up the meat with your spatula as it cooks and keep the onions moving around in the pan so that they cook evenly and don't stick and burn. Once there's little to no pink left in the beef and the onions have softened, add in the carrots and chop fresh garlic. Stir from time to time, and when the carrots are softened slightly, combine a few tablespoons of broth with the cornstarch and create a slurry, and then pour the chicken broth, the cornstarch slurry, apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, sage, thyme, rosemary, salt and pepper into the pan. Mix it all together really well and allow it to come to a boil and for the sauce to thicken. Then turn off the heat and add the frozen peas and chopped fresh parsley. Mix it around to heat it all through and then set it aside while you finish the potatoes. So here I am testing the potatoes and asking myself if I'm sure they've cooked enough, but I'm in a rush, so I decide to take my chances. So I go ahead and I add the butter, the cream, the garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper to the pot. And I start to mix and splatter a mess all over the place. But I'm determined to make this work. So I use the beaters to mash the potatoes by hand, then slowly use the mixer to bring it all together. Clearly not my best work, but thank goodness it's just for my family and not a cooking contest. Next, take a large casserole dish and pour the ground beef mixture into the bottom in an even layer. Then spoon the creamy and somewhat lumpy potatoes, in this case, on top, and smooth it all out. Pop it into the oven for just a few minutes to brown the top, and then dig in. This is definitely my family's favorite hearty meat and potatoes kind of meal. You can find the recipe for shepherd's pie and many more at homelesshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News.